what's up guys and welcome back to another video sponsored by Light Audience and today we are going to use every single color there is in the new Desert Dream Buttercream collection which is absolutely stunning and I was inspired of course by the theme it is inspired by the Arizona Desert and what can we find in the desert? Well we can find lots of cactuses so that is what we're gonna do today. I am starting out with a base and using Prickly Pink, which is a super light pink. So when you put it on, it almost feels like a white, but it does have that pink, uh, baby pink shade almost. It's very pretty to use uh, as a background like this for sure. And I am applying that over uh, white tips right now this is a silicone hand so if you are doing this on a client if you want to put down a white base you can do that personally I don't feel like you have to because the buttercreams are so highly pigmented on their own uh, here I'm going in with the swirly brush and now I'm basically just gonna use every single color in the collection and I am curing sometimes in between the colors here you can see that I cured in between the green and the coral and after the coral I cured again and now I'm going in with the blue purple uh, shade so I would say rather cure too much than not enough but in this case I'm actually not curing in between when I'm fading the colors together so it really depends on what you want to create and what effect you are going for. So if you are blending colors together, well, you can actually do both techniques. You can mix them together wet or you can actually cure in between and then mix them. But if you mix them wet, you will get a shade which is in between the two different colors. And if you cure it, you're just going to apply the next color on top of the next one and you're going to get a different effect. Hopefully you understood what I mean. The only thing is just to kind of experiment and see what happens. Uh, I am using still the swirly brush for this and I am using just a tiny little bit and as you can see here I'm just dabbing on the color and adding more like layers so you want to start out small and then slowly build it up and that is how you create those cool effects uh, so here I'm going in and adding some little flowers actually this entire set is inspired by um, like watercolor cactuses if you haven't seen it try googling it because I just love them they're so cute and I found a couple of different pictures that I took inspiration from so uh, yeah this is definitely inspired by those watercolor paintings for the black details, I am using the black gel paint together here with the stripey brush and also a couple of different dotting tools. I think I'm using mainly the number one, um, I would guess. I don't think I went bigger than that. I think when you start to add those black details, the whole design just starts to pop a little bit more. But yeah, just a general tip. Remember to slowly build it up rather than smack a whole lot of color on at the same time. Because as I said, you know, the buttercream is so highly pigmented. You need the tiniest little amount to create a lot. And here I'm going in with the flat mat because I want to have these uh, nails matte. And as usual, I always do that when I hand paint, if I can convince my clients to do that because it looks so much better on camera. You know, being a little bit selfish and all. And yeah, this is the final result. And as you can see, I really try to get that watercolor blend look. And you can definitely do that with the buttercreams without using cleanser or anything else. So that is pretty cool. This collection is fabulous and it's going to work perfectly for your clients this spring and is available to all salon customers on March 2nd. 
Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.